Hello and welcome to this course demonstration video for the Child Development and Disability Essentials course. Uh, I'm uh, Dr. Roshna Raza. I'm one of the pediatric neurodisability consultants uh, in Leeds Community Healthcare Trust. Hi, and my name is Dr. Laura Archer and I'm a pediatric trainee in West Yorkshire. So in this video, we'll just show you and talk about uh, this course. We'll show you that this course is basically designed uh, with core pediatric trainees, level one trainees in mind, but it's also a great resource for all doctors at any level and uh, also for parents who have children with disabilities and anyone who works with children with disabilities. In this course and throughout the modules, there are several links between the modules. So when you're doing some topic um, that is relevant to another core concept, for example, in another part of the module, uh, it will show that links within uh, the modules, and it has many different uh, external links for you to uh, go into and get further learning and information. There are links in the modules to the RCPCH Progress Plus competencies so that you can evidence your learning that you do from this course uh, onto your ePortfolio. All the modules are quite interactive uh, with questions built in throughout the module uh, that uh, review your learning and check your learning. And at the end, there is there are quiz to assess your learning. And also that helps you to produce your certificate in the end uh, that you can uh, use to evidence your learning. There are uh, lots of reflective practice uh, opportunities as well. And as you go through some of the key learning questions, you can save uh, all the, your responses are saved onto a digital workbook uh, that you can download in the end. And there are several printable uh, resources as well for the parents. So what we'll cover in this uh, uh, demonstration video is how you can navigate from the home uh, screen uh, into uh, the modules um, and how you work through a module and the features that are in there. Uh, the interactive learning opportunities within the modules uh, and how you would uh, evidence and record your learning. Okay, I'll pass on to Laura who will uh, start off uh, showing the landing page um, and go through some of the uh, key modules. So once you've logged into the course, um, this will be the, the home screen that you'll get go into. Um, up here, there's some additional information um, that you can work through but the main content will be accessed through these large buttons so at the top there's the fundamentals so this is a kind of bumper extra large module which talks about a lot of the kind of basic information that you have to understand in order to understand the rest of the modules and it's what we would recommend people do first it is 14 hours long as you can see here but it is broken down into individual modules and i'll explain that once we get through that in a minute and then if you can see all these other um, kind of more more like one to two hour um, modules here are based around specific neurodevelopmental differences and conditions, which you can also work through for uh, more information. And we will go through two of those modules shortly. So if we start off with fundamentals, if you click through there, it um, has the module overview as well as the author teams at the top. I'm going to explain what each section is. So if you go into the introduction, um, it has the kind of basic information. Then if you go into core concepts, this is um, different videos based on core concepts of in uh, childhood disability and they're with kind of world experts on each topic. We then have um, child development and this goes through a kind of typically developing child and will act as a great reference point when completing the later modules, um, which can be kind of looked back on as well. So for an, as an example, I'll go um, into the six months child. So it starts off with a, a link to a short video um, from an external resource um, that will help the student. It then has this very jolly looking child in the middle and it asks the students to fill in what they think the development of a six month old would be and then any red flags they can think of it then shows the correct answer and that would be printable which would be a great kind of revision um, resource it then has again another way of looking at developmental assessment in a six to nine month old with um, images and written information again a great aid memoir um, 
it then gives some ideas about what the student could do to elicit the development of a child. Um, what I really like about this page is it has a great patient leaflet that can be printed um, and given to patients in clinic or on the ward so that they can think of ideas about what to do to encourage the development of their child at that age. So that's a lovely resource. And then if we go back in, it also has um, a short audio recording, which has some advice um, that you can give, again, about how to help with development and then the key messages. So that's one example of what this module um, has to offer the students. If we go back in, we then have the um, life story, typical development. So that's lit over all the different ages. And that's, again, um, as a reference point when you're working through the later modules. And then we go to the partnership with family module. So this has three scenarios which bring together different ideas about partnership with families and has different branching scenarios that students can work through. It then has um, some information about access to leisure activities and the voluntary sector. If I just click into that, you can see how many um, information it has and how many external links, which would be, again, very useful to all users of this, uh, thinking about where uh, they can seek support or advise people to seek support. And then there's also where we have the genetics um, section, which was written by some uh, colleagues in uh, genetics who have done a great overview for the students. And then finally, there's the caring for the disabled child. And this has lots of different um, short, but it's interactive information modules looking at different aspects of, of looking at the trauma disabilities. So that is an overview of what the fundamental module has to offer. I'll go back to Rishna um, to talk about an individual module. So I'll just go through the social adversity um, module as an example, which as the name suggests, covers the social aspects and the social context uh, uh, and how that affects a child's development. So um, as you can see, uh, this module is structured on a life course uh, approach. So it takes you through the, the life of a, from early childhood uh, up to the adolescence and transition stage. And this is how most of the modules are structured. Um, apart from the fundamentals, most of the modules have this uh, life course approach. Here in the introduction, uh, again, you uh, as you can see, there are key learning uh, objectives uh, mentioned there, and the uh, RCPCH Progress Plus um, uh, competencies that um, are relevant uh, to this uh, module are mentioned here, so that once you've completed this module and uh, gotten your certificate, you can use that as an evidence uh, on your ePortfolio to show your competencies uh, against these learning outcomes and key cap capabilities. Then if I go back to the module again, just to show you in this section, this contents list show you uh, what what there is. You, If you click on any of them, you can go through the, the contents. Uh, the way it's structured, it's quite interactive and make you think and interact with the content throughout the course. And there are places here you can reflect and write yourself, and you can always copy these reflections and put on your ePortfolio as case reflections. Throughout each of the individual subsections, there are key learning questions. So this section has uh, key learning six and key learning seven here. And uh, these key learning uh, questions are placed in so that you can review your learning and uh, see where you are at uh, through, uh, through this learning journey. And whatever you type in here uh, gets saved into a digital workbook, which um, saved and you can print that out at the end uh, of the module. And then at the end of the module, uh, there is a quiz uh, and you have to get 100% in that quiz. It's uh, quite a short quiz. And once you've completed the quiz and passed that successfully, you print out your certificate uh, and then are able to 
and use that certificate to evidence your learning the module and then there are good resources at the end another thing i wanted to demonstrate here is that how the modules are linked to other key modules so for example in this one the transition transition section there's an internal link to the fundamentals where transition is discussed in more detail so it takes you to that section you may have done that section already or if you've not you it's a good opportunity to go through that section and reinforce your learning that way yeah and then you can come back to your Okay, thank you. And Laura will uh, show you another module. Okay, so now I'm going to just work through a bit of acquired brain injury to show you kind of what this course can, can offer really. So again, we'll go in, we'll get the module overview and the author team. If we go into the introduction in this module, you have, uh, again, the, the key learning and the RCPCH aspects. You then have some brilliant diagrams talking about the neuroanatomy um, to really set the scene academically for this module. If we then go into early childhood, we'll learn a bit about, about Freddie and then um, we can talk a bit about what we then will learn as we go through. So it sets the scene as you have Freddie, a seven month old, who's been brought in with concerns about um, swelling to the head. Working through it, you realise he's had a really significant um, head injury and it will link you to things like the NICE head injury guidelines um, and make you utilise things like Glasgow Coma Scale and some great um, practical guidelines for things like when you need to image the cervical spine. Um, I think it's also very seamless in how it works in the child protection aspect. So it has ideas about how you would go through that and it also um, shows some examples of documentation that would be useful in this child. So then if we leave the early childhood and go into what has then happened to Freddie in his middle childhood, we see him now that he's seven and get an update about where he is. So he's now in reception and he has a few difficulties keeping up in year two, some Concerns about behaviour, um, difficulty concentrations, and issues with being tired and sleepy. So it will give you that summary about where we are now. It will give you some background about the common long-term difficulties after acquired brain injury that you can look at, expand, and again, it will link to other modules that might be relevant. And then it makes you kind of think, what else do we need to know about Freddie? So once the student to fill in these boxes about what questions do we need to ask about his family, what questions do we ask about his function, what questions do we need to make sure we're not missing common associated problems and thinking again about kind of participation, what do we need to know. So I think that will then show you that and also you can print that out. So again a, a really excellent holistic resource there. It then gives you the answer. So this is what we now know. So an update to the family circumstance, an update to what he's able to participate in to give you some context for Freddie. It then goes into this um, brilliant page, which gives you Freddie's goals that have been set and then asks you to come up with some actions and then outcomes as how we're gonna achieve those goals. So again, it wants the student to type their own ideas, but then it will show a model answer. And then thinking a bit more about F words there and outcomes. And then again, it will show a model answer. And that again can be printed. And I think that would be a really great resource to upload to a portfolio or to keep if you're doing a community placement to utilize that learning in your everyday practice. Uh, and of course, as ever, it, it has quizzes and it has um, the key messages and resources at the end. Great, thank you very much. Um, I hope you found this demo video useful, both to show you how to navigate 
um, the modules, but also to show what a brilliant resource this is for so many different people and that you can see all of the advantages it can give you and also how uh, enjoyable and interactive it is as a um, piece of learning material. So thank you very much.